Greetings, my Christian friends. It's always good to be with you, to get into the Word of God, that we may bring you some spiritual nuggets to help you in these trying and testing times, because these are trying times. So I'm very happy to be here with Dr. LaFavor again today uh, uh, for this message. Pleasure to be with you. Uh, this message today, my friends, is going to be dealing with what to do uh, in challenging times. What What is the main gift, one of the main gifts that we need to deal with the tough circumstances and to keep on going, uh, trying to make a way uh, in these tough times? And uh, the answer, the biblical answer to this question is to put trust and faith in God. He will give us the motivation to keep on going forward no matter what, Amen. no matter where we at. Uh, he will give us that motivation if we can have hope, if we can ask him for hope, and we can stand on hope. So let us pray. Almighty, everlasting, eternal God, our Father, Lord, we need your help because we already have recognized that we cannot do anything by ourselves, Lord. And there are still some people out there, Lord, they are trying to do it themselves. They're trying to do it alone, but we, we we don't need to try to do it alone, Heavenly Father, but you got a real purpose for every one of us, and you love us all. You want us all, Heavenly Father, to keep hope alive. Yes. And we all, as your children, God, you want us to do it, and we can do this, Lord, if we trust in you, God, if we place trust in the God of hope, God, and we just do that and look to you. And believe, because we are hopeful, Lord, that you will, there's no doubt about it, you will protect us in every circumstance, and you will sustain us uh, as we go forward from day to day. So now, Father, we come and ask you to help us to rejoice in all season, in every situation, in every circumstance. It's in the Bible. Uh, Dr. Mm -hmm. Faye, will you read from uh, Romans chapter 12, verse 12? Amen. Romans chapter number 12, verse 12. And the word of the Lord says, rejoicing yes. in hope, patient in tribulation, yes. continuing instant in prayer. We can't do this, my friends. That is why this is a good message for you today. We cannot rejoice in the things that we are challenged with on every level. Uh, from, the, from the child all the way up to the aged person, we need it, God. No matter what, we need Heavenly Father to be able to rejoice Amen. and hope. Read it one more time, this great verse from the Bible. Romans 12 and 12 says, yes. rejoice, rejoice in hope. In hope. You hear that, my friends? Rejoice in hope. We have always known to rejoice in hope. Patient and in tribulation. Patient. How we, can we be patient when we are tried, when we are tested, when we are challenged? How can we still be patient when people, when mankind won't do the right thing? Because we encounter circumstances and situations where mankind will not do right. So how can we be hopeful? Where are we going to rejoice anyway, anyhow? Read on, my son. Continuing instant in prayer. We've got to have hope, Heavenly Father, because sometimes, you, you already know this, we won't even feel like praying. You know, the burdens and things can get so tough, but look, we have to continue on persisting in prayer. Why? Because we are hopeful. And guess what? The hope give us a reason, Dr. Favor, to keep on trusting in God and relying in God. Here is another powerful word uh, of verse here. I love this verse in Romans 15 and Romans 13. Look what it says here about God. A uh, God is, this excites me, God is a God of hope. Amen. I know it. In Romans chapter 15, verse 13, the Bible says, Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Look at that, my friends. The God of hope, no matter what it looks like, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation, we will learn. 
We will learn to persist because of the God of hope. He will fill us with what we need to keep on going. Can we read that again? Romans chapter 15, verse 13 says, Now the God of hope. Now the God of hope. The very God of hope. The God of hope. Come on. Fill you with all joy. Fill myself and fill you and fill you with joy. Plenty of it. Because he is the God of the universe. He got all power. And joy is part of his character. He can do it. And peace. And peace to go along with it. Believing mm -hmm. that ye may abound yes. in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Now, if we can just latch on to this, if we just can catch on to this, even people going through all kinds of things, we understand that. People are, are tried and tested by one thing or another. Some of it may be a health situation. Some of it may be a, a, a financial. Some maybe it is spiritual. Or it could be addiction. All kinds of things. But there's God of hope. He is right there close to us at our right hand to help us along the way. And another thing, I want you to read another verse which give us a reason to be hopeful. This verse comes from Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. Take this one in, my friend. Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, the Bible says, Fear none, yes, fear none. of those things which thou shalt suffer. Yes. Behold, the devil shall cast some of mm -hmm. you into prison, right. that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, mm -hmm. and I will give thee a crown of life. You know what? People of God, uh, hold your place there. People of God are hopeful to the end. For eternal life. And they say, I am, I am, they say I'm working, but what they really mean, I'm serving for eternal life. That's what they are looking at, my friends, because they already know, the Bible have already said, there will be days like these, the ones you're talking about in the Bible, there will be days like these. And uh, even my mother told me, it's going to be tough days. There are going to be rough days. It's going to be rough days, but we have a God of hope. And this is so good, so the audience out there will know that these, this verse is a motivation of force to say, I'm going to keep on going no matter what. Can you read it again for us? Revelation chapter 2, verse 10 says, Fear none of those things. Don't fear them. Yes, they, they are fearful things. But David said, What time I'm afraid, then I will pray. Amen. Come on. Those things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison. Not, you know, that the old Bishop Gordon, he said, This is a suffering way. But people don't like to talk about that. But we have to be prepared to deal with tough times and 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 you know it's the times of suffering. We have to we have to get, have to be able to do it because somebody has said every day will not be like Sunday on this side, but Amen. they said in a song over oh, there every day will be like Sunday. Amen. Come on. That ye may be tried yeah. and ye shall have tribulations yeah. ten days. Right. Be thou faithful unto death. Right. And I if you will do, give thee if you do, a crown of if life. If you do, if you just hold on and hold out and keep going and keep hope alive, then I'll give you a crown of life. That is the reason, my friends, to keep on going. Man of God, come on, give us some more spiritual food and some more what you got lined up for us. We are ready for it. Thank you, Pastor, for laying the foundation for our message Amen. today, always inspiring us in a powerful way, encouraging us to rejoice in hope yes, and helping us to know that God is a God of hope. So today our theme is mm -hmm. four letters, hope. Hope, okay. Hope. I know you got something good for us. Now, Come on. hope is a powerful hope word, Pastor. It, it is. And it has been said that hope inspires us to do what seems impossible. Mm. You may say it's almost impossible to face what I have to, oh, right. but you can face it. I was talking to a gentleman. He said, if you can cope, you can hope. I but God it. has to give us the power to cope. So hope inspires us to do what is impossible yes. and it helps us 
to carry on during difficult times. That's what we want. We want to keep on going in the storm, in the rain. We want to keep on going. Come on. Preacher. So what is hope? Hope is a confident expectation that things will work out according to God's plan. Let me Amen. tell you again. Hope is a confident Amen. expectation a confident that things expectation. will work Amen. out for us, for the believer, according to God's plan for our lives. Amen. Our biblical quote is in the Bible in Isaiah 40 and 31. The Bible says, but those who hope, hope yeah. meaning trust in the Lord, will renew their strength. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't you benefit today, Pastor, from a renewal of strength? Yes. Shall renew their strength. They shall soar on the wings yes, like eagles. Yes, they will run and yes, not sir. grow weary. Mm -hmm. They will walk and not faint. What does this verse mean and how can we apply? You know what it means? It means that the believer, yes. we can wait with anticipation. Mm -hmm. It means that when we hope in God, Pastor, he's going to come through for us. You know what telling? I'm going to wait on the Lord because I know better days are coming. Better days are on the way. I'm going to wait on the Lord. That's how we begin to feel. The more we dig into Bible study, the more do we dig into our prayer group, the more that we listen to the gospel, we will be empowered. To keep on going. To keep hope. Mm -hmm. Now, hope can carry different meanings yeah. for different people. I hear now, you. in ancient times, kings, they would hope in chariots, mm -hmm. Pastor. I hear you. And they would put hope in horses. Now, you. in our day, people, they fall into the trap of relying Listen on human me. strength. Sometimes they rely on material possessions. Okay. Sometimes they put hope in intelligence. They, they may put hope in the political candidate. But the hope that we're talking about for the believer is hope in the Lord, Pastor. Don't put anything for hope in God. Only put one thing ahead of hope, and that is the agape love of God Amen. who gave his only son to die for our sin. Other than that, line up with hope. Line up we with hope. To. Consider what this psalmist said in Psalm 39 and 7. He says, our hope. I don't know yes. about yours, but our hope is in the Lord, for my hope is in thee. Mine too, mine. I hope that in God. Come on. You know, he's telling us that God is the only source of hope. Right. And we have for this hope, mm -hmm. we have hope in this life mm -hmm. and hope beyond. Mm -hmm. So what is hope? Biblical hope is a confident expectation in God that he will deliver us. And the key verse pastor read it right. in Romans 15 and 13. It says in the NIV, may the God of hope. <laughs> I love this. May he fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow yes, with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. The hope, the hope that God gives fills us mm -hmm. with a living hope. See, the joy, it comes from oh deep within, regardless yeah. of the circumstance, regardless of what we're going through, this hope, Pastor, for the believer, it comes from deep within. Well, it's like a well, a fountain on the inside. Uh, it is like a source of joy ever flowing in our, in our souls and our hearts. And when sometimes we get to feel kind of down, all we got to do is just praise the Lord and we'll be able to draw water. We will be able to draw Amen. joy out of that resource of God on the inside because God has already filled us. Sometimes the chain may break on the bucket. All you got to do is just reattach it and go to drawing that joy from this source of joy. Thank you, Pastor, for expounding on that. I like that word joy because he said, may the God of hope fill us with joy. Yes. That word joy, you know what it means? Joy is not based on circumstances. No, no. Joy is based on knowing that all things will work together for the good. What does it mean? God will work it together for good for the believer. Yes. Now, in this verse, Apostle Paul in Romans chapter 15, verse 13, Paul, you know what he's doing? He's praying. Mm -hmm. He's praying for the believer. Yes, he he hopes that every believer, every believer would experience, Pastor, mm -hmm. hope. 
And this hope that, that we're that. talking about, Listen to that. God is the source of hope. Mm -hmm. So if you're a believer today and your hope tank is low, right. you have to reach out to God and you have to go deeper. What do I mean? You're going to have to pray yes. big prayers. Big you're going to have to go big deeper ones. into your word. You're going to have to reach out yeah. and you're going to have to draw from the wells of salvation to. today. Now, what are you placing hope in today? Yes. Yeah. Is your hope in God or in the things of this world? You know what Job said? Job said his hope is not in gold Lord and his Lord. hope is not in fine gold. He did not make gold his confidence. Now, it is a fact, Pastor, mm -hmm. that, that people need hope. If, I, if we can just fill our mind with hope, if we just can be hopeful, then everything will turn out all right. And we got to have this, this real expectation. Uh, everything is going to turn out all right. We have to believe that. If we have this, this hope in God, it will. We got to stand on it. See, even the research has said that if you have hope, mm -hmm. hope links uh, to emotional, yes. it links to physical well-being and it. positive interpersonal relationships and effectiveness in your academics, My yes, God. and athletics. See, if you have hope in God today, it makes you better in all aspects of your life. It makes your relationships better. It makes you a better student. It even makes you a better athlete. I believe these athletes who play on this high level, they have some type of connection uh, to God that helps them. I've heard them express their faith. It may have been a grandmother, but someone gave them hope and inspiration to give life their best. I feel like jumping up right now, I can tell you the truth, and doing a happy dance. Because when you mention that high hope can enhance and bless all of our relationship. Hey, Joe, what I thought about as you were saying that, and I believe you'll think the same way, you cannot stop a person who is full of hope. You cannot stop a LeBron James or... You cannot stop uh, uh, Brady. You cannot stop anybody who is full of hope. You can't even stop a, a trial of favor. Uh, you can't stop, you know, you may make it tough and rough, but you can't stop it. You can't. If we keep hope alive. We must. Fill the mind. That's what I'm talking about, doctor. Filling the mind with hope. It'll, it'll, it'll carry us on. We have to do it. We have to fill our mind with hope. Thank you for encouraging us, Pastor, because many times we see people and they are able to fight. They're able to persevere. Mm -hmm. And it's that word hope. Mm -hmm. They are hoping and believing that things will turn out right. I'll put it in the word way. This is crazy hope. <laughs> this is crazy hope. You ever felt like you had crazy hope? You know, <laughs> you knew that you were not going to be stopped. You knew that. And when people talked about you, when they came against you, you just went back to the drawing board and got busy. You thought about what your granddaddy did. You thought about what other people did before you. I know you have felt that way. Pastor, when I think about <laughs> crazy hope, you know what I think about? Lord, I go back to the scriptures and I look at Romans 4 and 18. Yes. You talk about crazy hope. Listen to what the Bible says. And Abraham, Lord, when Lord, hope Lord. was dead within him. When hope was Man, dead within it. him, he went on hoping in faith. You, you know what oh, he Lord, said when the hope was gone. You said when it, it was right dead, now, said it he all. went on hoping anyhow. I mean, you, look at that right there. Boy, this, now we got this. We got this. We're going to go on. And somebody is doing it. I see some people who just unstoppable. I got some right now in my congregation. You can't stop them. You know, you can throw everything at them, but you can't stop them. Boy, you can be tested. I've been tested. I get tried. And test it, but hope will keep you going. You know what you said about Abraham? But Abraham, hope, when hope was dead, man, come on, within him, come on, he went on hoping in faith. Will you believe that, my friends? Will you believe it? Come know on. this, believing. Will, would you trust this? That he would become the father of many nations. Oh my God. Well, you're not called to be a father of many nations, but you're called to be a father of your family. you called to rise up and leave a legacy. Yeah. you called to rise up and be who God has created you to be, even when hope was dead. You know what? Because I tell you right now, life is fuller uh, roadblocks and situations that will try to to kill your hope. Uh, uh, it, will, it will stop you from being hopeful. But Lord, if we can hold on to it, we can get something done. You can rise up again. You can be a good leader in the family. You can. You can. <laughs>
Sometimes we got to go back. I know what David Thank said in Jesus. Psalms 22, 9. David declared that the Lord was my hope. He's my hope from the time he was upon his mother's mm -hmm. breast. Mm -hmm. Perhaps we need to go back to the time when God was our hope. Or perhaps he was your hope at one point. But due to the circumstances of life, you let go of the rope of hope. But God wants you to cling on to that hope mm -hmm. and tighten it up and trust in God and he'll see you through. Mm -hmm. So in closing, we want to encourage you to keep hope alive, keep trusting and remember what Paul said, now the God of hope fill you with all joy yes. and peace and believing Praise that God. ye may abound, meaning overflow through the power of the Holy Ghost. So may God bless you. Yes. Final instructions from our pastor. Thank you so much, Dr. Faye, for this wonderful message. It's very practical. It's something that we can use right now. That you know what? God loves you out there. He loves you. I don't care what you've done, what you've been through, but God still loves you. Why do he love you? Because you are a child of God. You're a child of God. He told you to pray to him, my father. But look, what we got to do. Now, we have to learn how to learn how to have hope. We got to learn how to be hopeful. We're going to have to go ahead and make up our mind. We're going to serve. We're going to demonstrate our, our hope by serving God and enduring to the end. Amen. Just like it says in Revelation 2.10. And guess what? In that day, he's going to say, here's a crown of life for you. Go ahead and put it on. Here's your crown. Put it on. Because you hung in there. You didn't give up. Thank you, Pastor, for those instructions. And Christ, he wants to have a relationship with you. The scripture says he is Christ, the hope of glory. And when he gets on the inside of us, he transforms everything. He gives us hope to right. continue to persevere. And thank Pastor for that instruction, because with yes. this hope, you can hope right on to the end. And God has a purpose and plan for you. Yes. If you've never made this most important decision to make Christ your hope, we encourage you to do it. Ask Christ to forgive you of your sins, to forgive you and yes. to make you his child. They do it by faith. Say, Jesus, I believe that you died on the yes. cross for me yes. and I receive you as my Lord mm -hmm. and Savior. You know what that means? You're surrendering your life to him. And if for you do sure. that by faith, he'll come yes. into your heart, not by feeling, but by I faith pray, yeah. and fill you with the Holy Spirit and find a good Bible teaching church so you can and grow. And fill you with hope. He'll, he'll fill you with hope. He will. He'll fill you with hope, my friends. He'll fill us with hope. He will do so it. So when you feel the hope tank, don't wait till it runs. Don't wait till it runs. Just keep on filling it up. The best thing to do is fill it up every day. All day. Keep filling That's it up thing. every keep day. Yes, sir. All day. Yes, sir. And you will be blessed. Again, if you are ever in South Florida, yeah. look us up at the Universal Christian Church of Christ. You will have a wonderful time. Yeah. Every fourth Sunday is Family and Friends Day. Right. You are our family and friends. So if you're down in South Florida, right. please look us up. Wherever you are, mm -hmm. find a good Bible teaching church Absolutely. so you can grow. Thank you to all of our subscribers. Absolutely. And if you have not subscribed to our channel, please hit the subscribe bell and become a subscriber. And you'll receive these messages right. on a weekly basis. And then, yeah, and then anybody, if you have left the church, come on back to the church. If you have left the church, if you have walked Amen. away from a church, come, come on back. back, my friend, and get on board because it's the best thing we have so we can learn to be hopeful. Thank you, Doc. Thank you for those instructions. And also, Thank you to you to those who provide us with comments yes. on how these messages are being a blessing to you. We really appreciate those comments and we read those and it inspires us Thank to you. continue to bring messages on a weekly basis. Well, may the Lord continue to keep you and make his face to shine upon you and bless you until next time. Remember, the Lord loves you and, and so, so do I. God bless you.